the number the deeper the screw goes. And if I have that setting on the lower, it would leave the screw proud. But if you're doing tracking, you need to install tappers like the set. Um, that's the one on the cheese S on it. Then what you need? Uh, force flush to the six. sale this morning and found one of two nice items there's an 8 inch polishing mop there a nice thin one thin ones are sometimes handy if I get in a little awkward places as a decalibrated pump type grease gun there these are good for you can modify them to pump oil at the ideal for lubricating lathe There's a nice big lathe drive dog there. I don't think it's even been used. There's no, there's no wear on the square. There's no marks where the drive, drive pin's been hitting it. I got that for a pound. That was a pound. Mick bought three of them, so he gave us that one, so that was free.
I've installed a new work light on the lathe. It's got a 240 volt supply, but as a transformer in it, so it works off 12 volt, lower voltage. It's a halogen light, nice and bright. This is an ordinary car type spotlight bulb. It's still a clearance to get me chuck cover on. Should also be very handy when I'm doing video as well. I can get a nice, a nice diffused light. I was going to go with the LED lights, uh, the double boost lights as they've been called, but I decided to go for a halogen one on this machine. Basically, for the video side of things, you get a better light for video with a halogen light. When it's not in use, it's just sort of moved away. Very pleased with that. I need to make a small outlet pipe for the drain tray on the milling machine. Put a bit of iron steel bar here. I need that facing off, turning down to three quarter, boring out, and probably some little step putting on so when the hose is clipped on, it won't come off. First thing we'll do is face it square. I drill the end. Drill the The news you can hear is actually the dry belt slapping off the case and the belts need tightening. In fact the belts need replacing. Uh, the pulleys were quite rusty when the day standing and the belts have they've done their job, they've polished the pulleys clean and now the pulleys are replacing. Good nice chamfer on the end of that. Put a couple of grooves in just for the, the pipe to clip onto, for the pipe to squeeze in onto with a hose clip. It will part that off and that will be the job done.
we'll get that well into the tank probably tomorrow, get it all piped up and then we should be ready to go with our coolant. Once again, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for clicking the like button. Thanks for subscribing. But a special thanks to everybody who sent, sent in well wishes to my wife Deb. They're still coming in all the time. Uh, Deb does sit and read through the comments. She certainly gets a little bit upset, but she does sit and read through them. Hey, isn't that that double boost fella over there, look? Yeah, it is like. Yeah, that's a lad there. See him on YouTube.